Hello guys, hello my fellow developers. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. So, and today I'm going to give you a short guide on how to create React JS apps faster and with more fun. So uh, in case you don't know what is React JS, so it's quite surprising because it's one of the most popular open source JavaScript libraries in the world, trusted by hundreds, thousands, or even millions of companies, uh, such as New York Times, Netflix, HBO, Tesla, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Code Academy, Spotify, many huge enterprises, just to name a few. Uh, React is very flexible and it's just perfect for creating single page applications. React has component-based architecture with lifecycle methods, virtual DOM usage, reusable components, very open and progressive communities with almost 200K stars in GitHub, which is very impressive. It also has a rich selection of commercial and open source libraries and lots of tools to work with. FlatLogic also delivers a tool which helps you to build CRUD applications uh, with React. So uh, let me show what a CRUD application is like. For instance, here, a typical example of a web application, an admin system for a blog. So behind it, we have a database with backend, I'm having several tables, such as articles, which is the list of blog articles, tags and categories associated with the articles, and comments. Uh, okay. Uh, we have this table view we can see the basic fields also we can add a new article uh, we can edit the article so here you can see different ui control types such as single line edit multi-line uh, also single select drop down and multi-select drop down Okay, also a chat box, uh, an image uploader. So there could be other fields such as date, date time, uh, like file uploaders, and a few more. With the uh, flat logic app generator, you can make such an admin application just in a few clicks. Uh, let me show how it's done. Okay, so we select here the generate app option. and go to create app. We make up our project name, which will be blog. Okay, let's call it my blog. Next, uh, we'll select the stack, which would be React as the front end, Node.js as the back end, and Postgres as the database. Also, we need to select the design. We have three options here, like the doc theme, material theme, and classic. Okay, let's choose the classic. And the most important part of the app generator is the schema editor. We can go full screen with it, for more convenience. Uh, we can start with a blank scheme, which will only have users, just to draw our authorization authentication functionality. Or we can select one of the preset schemas. For instance, it'll be blog in our case. And here you see the, our database structure with all the tables and fields just the one i've just shown you in the already generated application so here we have the title which is single line string body also we have category which is called relation one which is a reference to categories table and we have tags which is relation many which is a reference uh, to tags table. Right. So uh, as the result, you're going to see uh, all those fields, for instance, rendered in this form view um, in their uh, corresponding control types. For instance, for categories, it'll be drop down with autocomplete, like single select. For text, it's going to be multi-select. 
once we're done with the schema, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll escape the uh, full screen mode. Just click next. We can review our selected text tag, design, React, Node.js, Postgres, okay, all the entities that we've created, create project, boom. And we have our full stack admin system, just like the one I've just shown you. Okay, we have our demo URL. Uh, so we can run it. We need to click deploy to start the deploy process. Okay, and in, in just a few minutes, you'll get a similar result. So create a different schema. You have different business logic, different application, like any database or within a number of columns and tables you need, uh, just in a few clicks. Then you get access to full code of front end and back end. You can download it and then hand tailor it to finalize your functionality. So with this nice jump start. Okay, so hopefully this demo and guide was helpful to you. Okay, so gonna come back later with more news and more fun stuff for, from Flat Logic. Bye bye, guys. Have a nice day.